The next uh, website that I'd like to discuss is a, a website called wimp.com and the, the way that I use this is for um, lots of little video snippets. If you are teaching a communications class or a history class, any class, there's probably a few videos on here you'll be able to find. What I like about this as opposed to YouTube is because you just don't know what you're going to get when you use YouTube. You'll get pop-ups, you'll get things that are just inappropriate. So this is a site that I have been using for quite some time and I've yet to find anything inappropriate on it. So um, I really like it. The students like it. It, it just, it's good for student engagement. It's great. You could use it for writing prompts. If you could use some of these videos for, um, you know, you could ask students to explain how it makes them feel or how it inspires them. Or you could easily use um, any of these videos um, for a writing prompt. So it's basically wimp.com, and each day there are five videos that are posted. And you know some will be worthwhile watching, some maybe not. There's a ton of them that are on science-related topics, so I use a lot of those just to get some conversations going about science. There's some very silly ones, um, you know, best of talking animals, um, but it really increases that student engagement. And it's got a search engine here too, so you can any topic that you're interested in, or maybe learning about, you can um, basically log in and. Um, just look up something that you might think that your students would be you know interested in and you know give it a try um, I would love to have people just give it a try and perhaps just um, you know link a video that that you watched or discuss it a little bit and say what you think so this is another site I'd like you to play around for a while and uh, give me your thoughts thanks